<clears throat> Hello. <laughs> that was... I thought I heard like a plane flying by, but no, it's just your mic buzz. I've been really? here. Hello there. It, it sounds like a plane is flying really far away. <laughs> what the? You're a alien. <laughs> what? Wait, what the heck? <laughs> the... <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak the language, Excalibur. Okay. Go back to the planet from which you came. Alright. Alright, I was... What are those weird noises? <laughs> I was, um... Yeah, I was trying to... Oh my gosh, bruh. Why can't I move the... Yeah, I was trying to... Set this up so I could uh, have us all... All our place. All our play, um, what am I saying? Crap, yep. Like this, really? All right, uh, 40, 70, yep. Yeah, so I want to have all our play or tier list here. So when they start screen sharing, I'll just put theirs below. And then um, for now, I can just switch between this and cloud hoppers. Uh, Copper is fixing his mic, and Aranza will be here when, in a moment. I'm just uh, waiting. Uh, oh, no, no. What is this? Hello, Trent. Are we having a, a tier list? If you want to, you can fill out the tier list. I'm gonna see what this is. Oh, it's these. Hmm. Where are you again? Uh Where's Pit Fox? Don't ask me. I think uh, we probably just change the name of one of them. I think Sawmill would be Pit Five, but we just named it Saw Sawmill. Just because it's that. Um. Well, I'm not the one naming them, so I I can't tell you. Hello. Hello, Ranzo. Hey, I'm coming. In cool. Second. Cool beats. Yes. Yeah. So, you guys, if you guys want to screen share, that would be uh, cool. I could uh, include that. Uh, Excalib is trying to fix his uh, mic right now. Mm, all right. Uh, uh. Uh, where are you again? Okay, well, uh, I should close all of my tabs yeah. before I start this is screen sharing. Maybe, probably. Yeah, like only. Oh, you you made it. Cool. Took me about a minute. Nice. Well, let me look at this. Wow, bounce house at the top. I am proud. I just like how bouncy it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Burping bird is just... Meh. It's XD if you have tons of players. <laughs> It's yeah. just a terrible map for multiple players. I like it for multiple players. It is chaos. I like chaos. 
Me too. I don't like that Although, much chaos because it's good for like two, three player games, but once it hits four and above, it's just not great. Yes, God. Uh, I guess I'll stream on my entire screen. Sure, but uh, I'll, I'll, I would set up when Excalibur is streaming so that I could uh, crop it. I don't it particularly like Tractor, but I'm not giving it a D rank because it has been a little bit easy, Yo. per se. <laughs> it's just Tractor has... It's like, it's like, it's like burping Burt, but a little easy. I would say it's a little less chaotic because you're able to have four players. Oh, well, we do have our different preferences. I wonder if Excalibur knows he's deaf and... To be honest, Bounce House is just great because of the fact that I just been scraped with it. Here, that's right? all. Anyways, that's all for the tier. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, one second. I need to set up my recording software. Uh, okay. <laughs> Trent did that so quickly, it'd probably take me like 10 minutes to decide. It'll probably take me way more. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I guess I, I didn't need to stream the entire screen, I could just stream this. Uh, um, but I will have to record my entire screen, probably. Actually, is there... One second. You can there is do... a window capture, yeah? That's what I'm using. Window capture only records a certain window. Yeah. Me too, but when I record games, I just use game capture instead. Uh, 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 Excalibur, what is he doing? Ah, uh, this is a weird resolution, but I guess whatever. Oh wait, I can't even see the thumbnails because of the quality. This is a certified bra moment. <laughs> Sad. Okay, I guess I'll just have to... Uh... Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Huh? Zoom in, you zoom, want in me to... zoom in, zoom in. Oh, uh, you want me to small. zoom in? Is it getting... Yes. More. One more time. No, that's too much. Um, that could work. This? But then when next comment says stream and it, sh and it shares a window with you, it's just gonna be too small. Um, Wait, I could put. Oh no, it doesn't matter. I could put Discord. I can do window capture. Put this on my main monitor. Actually, no, that size is good. Actually, I f I think it's good. What am I? I, I, I <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll monitor. just yeah. I'll just skip my browser in full screen because OBS records it in a weirder resolution. Otherwise, yo. Probably, I guess because it's not a full screen. Um, otherwise, so... Where is Excalibur Heavy Battle Cruiser? I am already trying to think of some of the maps, but I don't know. I, for a lot of the maps, I'll probably have no idea where to put them. You get an idea. Yeah, like fracking Frank's place, I have no idea, to be honest. We'll have to decide. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I'll even use D tier. To be like, I don't. There's not a single map I hate. Uh, I there. I don't have the heart to put anything in D tier. I mean, like, I think the some... lowest might be C tier, but I'll see. Should I add an F tier? Because D tier wouldn't mean like F, you're just being like the fifth option. <laughs> so, yeah, sure. Why not? But then that would mean that it's bad. Uh... Okay, I'll add an F tier, but I don't think I'll use it either. Yeah. Just add it so like D tier doesn't seem as bad. <laughs> Yeah. As, um, I would put some maps in, like, 
Uh, their maps is, I feel like, I put below average, right. which is C. But I won't put them in the worst tier either, so... Yeah. If you uh, refresh, you should have F tier now. Okay. Because it can show R. Yep. The R. Well, what mm, did you do? R. Refresh, refresh. What is going on? I have to add it on my own. Uh, what? No, uh, I can't add it on my own. I don't think it so. It should be there. I guess maybe it's cache or something. Can you open it in a different window? Like, like no, I do guess. like um, middle of the mouse click. Wait, what is hard reload? How do you do hard reload? I don't remember. Oh, hard reload? I don't know. Maybe your cache. I, I don't know why I wouldn't update. That's so weird. Did it change the link? It shouldn't have. Alright. Mm. The link should still be the same. Command Shift R. Gently. Command? What is command? Control shift I'm back. R. It took me oh. quite a while, but like my microphone was having issues and I just decided to use my inbuilt microphone. Inbuilt microphone. Okay, I guess yeah. we we'll just We're having technical yeah. difficulties. I added an F tier, but Aran's not seeing it. Mm, or, where do I clear recent history, I guess? It's a cache you wanna clear. But I'll just the clear everything from the past hour, I guess. Oh, this is an ex. You know what? Clear. Close the browser. Close the window first. Sure. Now clear cache. Yes. Okay, actually, I don't, I don't need to clear everything. Well, no, five seconds. Do you do it? Uh, Yes, okay, I guess I'll just open it again. Dirt list. Why what? the heck is it not... Excalibur, is do you a... see it? Wait, really? Do you see... Uh, with Oranza? No, oh, do... yeah. No, do... Now I see it. Do you see the web the website tier list? If you open the website, do you see F tier? Uh, no. Okay, which website? Oh. Uh, on reset. Link? Live I clicked anyway. reset and it added the F tier. Uh, it probably saved your progress, that's why. Yes, because I accidentally typed R next to the D, and then I guess it saved that. Well, if you made like any op, if you added any, fu if you um dragged in any of the images, it probably would have had to reset as well. But Excalibur, you have the website open. Okay. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Well, I see the... I see all six of them. All s Wait, six. Alright, great. Uh, do you want a screen share? Yeah, screen share. Sure. So. If you screen share, we can, I can include your point of view in my uh, OBS. Yeah. Oh, I didn't... Wait. Would I... Yeah, I'll just have to record only my own tier list, I guess. I mean, I can screen share if you want, but uh, you don't. I mean, if you want to record mine as well, you can. Thing is, I um, I was have to record my entire screen for that, and I don't feel like recording my entire screen. Yep. Where did Excalibur go? I need. I no idea. Mm. Huh. Excalibur, welcome back. Hello. I guess I'll just, I'll just start recording now. I don't know if I haven't started yet. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Welcome wow. back <laughs> to the Five Nights at Freddy's. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm live with the screen as well. Heck. Yeah. Um, all right. Here's the deal. I want to make it so that um I can include your point of view in uh, my recording. So if you're able to, could you match your your zoom to be like Aranza's? Like go full screen and then zoom in a bit. Yeah. 
Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. More! Oh wait, you can't see your options, can you? Um... Okay, you can zoom out once. And, uh... Well, Aranza has it. I guess you can't. Are you able to get the zoom like Which? Aranza does? Stop Which moving it, like Aranza! Yeah, like, can you position yours, like, one more zoom in? I mean, it looks exactly the same, doesn't Perfect. it? Perfect! Um, well, kind of. Wait, zoom in again? <laughs> one more. Um, oh, I guess your window is a bit smaller or something. Okay, you can zoom. Aranza, you can zoom once. Well. Control minus once. This? No, no, Excalibur, you were good! Bruh! Wait, actually, go full screen if you can. Um, Excalibur, can you share your browser and not your screen? That way we won't see okay. a Discord when you open it. Okay, now let me see. Okay, you know what? I'll uh, restart Discord real quick. Oh? I'll be right back. All right. Oi. I hear, I your, hear game your game music. Oh, I hear myself as well. Whoops. <laughs> I heard myself as well. I don't know why. What happened there? Now do you see it? Um, I do. Yeah. It just barely fits. Green Cat is AFK for a minute, though. Okay. Um... Hello, hello, hello. Well, welcome back. Where's Excalibur? He's here, streaming again. Oh, let me join his stream. Where's your Oh, I can't. Let me click this. Um... Oh my god. Can you... Sorry, can you zoom out, Excalibur? A little bit? Yes. <laughs> sorry for that. Yeah, that is, um... Aranza, can you scroll up slightly? One second. Um. Just to match with X. No, I said up. Er oh wait, down, down. Sorry. Stop. <laughs> wait, can you scroll? Yes, that's perfect. Don't move it ever again. All right. Okay. Uh, I hope I won't. Um. Hey, would you actually mind? Screen sharing as well, so we can see your perspective also. Ooh, um, yes. Hopefully, it doesn't. Oh, I added it. I don't want to see my screen share. Mm. Actually, I think it's the same. I made yours dark. Mine is in the top right. Dang. Um, one second. All right. Galleon. E G O. Right, I'm gonna change my name so that it uh, it appears at the bottom. <laughs> mm. How do I change my name? Oh my gosh! Stop it! Streamer mode won't let me change it. All right, let me turn it off. Server profile. Wait, I can't change my nickname. Wait, what? Second. I don't have permission to change my nickname. Really? Wow. Hmm. The problem is, if I screen share, I'm just gonna be recorded my point of view twice because uh, it's 
it shows my top right when yours should be right next to each other. Mm. Let me think about this. Yeah. Well, um, we'll just have to. I know. Um, 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 um. Oh, I wait, I can we'll turn just... it off. I can turn it off. Yes. Yes, I, f I can turn off my own screen share. It was an option. Cool. Okay. All right, it's saved or day saved. Now, let me just um, add your window <laughs> into my. Wait, uh, scroll up in browser. All right, sorry to make you wait, but uh, this is going to be epic to look back on. Yes, it's fine. Let me Probably. add another window capture. I'll make this one for Discord. Actually, wait, let me. Ah, it's gonna show Discord. Let me make sure I can show Discord full screen. Ah, I wonder if this is necessary because you're not gonna be able to see your. Um... Let me crop this. Your um. Your names are next to to know which one is uh, who because that's how Discord mm -hmm. is. Okay. Um. Top will be. 100. Wait, it didn't. It didn't. I wasn't ready. Bro. Top can be 200. Uh, 400. Uh, 380. 350. 360. 5. Bottom is 365. 36. 370. 390. 380, 370. Okay, and then I think with this, I can put yours below mine. Why is, I'm so can, bro. Okay. I just gotta hide your, um... <laughs> oh my gosh, more, okay. I don't need to see your level selections. 400. 800, oop, 600, 550, 570, okay. Okay. Why can't I hear myself? I know. I know. Excalibur is side. Excalibur, I can hear myself. Excalibur, I can hear myself. I can't hear you anymore. You're I can't so hear quiet. you anymore. You're so quiet. What do I sound like? Am I really quiet or somewhat quiet? Oh wait, you gotta be louder, but you're still... <sighs> Bro, I... where's Discord? Hello? <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I hear you. I don't hear myself anymore. That was a weird. Discord go burr. What about now? Okay, you're oh, too, you're too loud, loud now. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're fine just now. Okay, I'll oh my gosh. reduce my volume. Hello, sound effects. Okay, now it should sound fine. I stopped my recording because this probably should not be getting recorded. I'll start once you actually start the tier list. Sorry, Trello keeps making noises. No, it's fine, don't worry. Grrr. Um. By the way, does my screen share look fine? Oh, I need on. It's good. Yes, don't change anything. Let me uh, let me look back at okay. OBS. Why did it get smaller? Wait, what? What happened? Oh, it's because I'm not full screen. That's why. There we go. Dang it! Let me just um. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting time. Um, it's been 24. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to put your icons next to your chair list so we know who's who. Hopefully you don't mind the oh. extra weight. Um, by the way, okay, how do, do you how do you get those like um uh, how do you see who's talking in voice chat? Like, 
on the left side of your screen. How do you get that? It's um Discord overlay. Discord. I can show you after, if you want it after. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. Game overlay. Discord overlay, stream kit, OBS, something like that. I'm gonna have to turn on my fan. My allergies are bothering me. One second. All right, let me download your icons. Actually, wait a minute. Let me. If I go to uh, OB, wait. If I go to. Ah, oh, okay. I have an idea. Um, oh, copy this, and then if I paste this here, oh, it's, it's, uh, oops, don't show that, that is my server. If I paste this here, that works. If I change the, um, All right, let me. Are you serious? It's not low. It's not working. Let me change browsers. Ah, wasted time. Wasted time. OBS install for OBS. Yep, that's the right channel. Okay. Oh, there's noise going on. Excuse me for that. Let me edit this code. Okay, all our names should show up always. Um, so I can put my name. Oh my gosh, this sucks. <laughs> mm. Technical there's, issues go burr. There's no good place to put our names because I, I scaled it so that, uh, so you can go here and then that would be blocking you. I can put my name here. Um, all right, I have an idea. I'll make a new, uh, no, that's not gonna work, bruh. What is, what is? Well. Um, <laughs> okay, wait, I can make this smaller. What? It's moving the wrong thing. I, I can't, I can't move it, bro. Okay, there we go. Move this, make it smaller. Okay, you know what? I can just add some text. Don't worry about it. This is a, uh, sorry again. Let me see if I can, there's a text option. Okay, text. Um, let's name this screen cat. And let's make it black. Can I not, okay, I can change this to be black. And then I can put this next to, oh yeah, I spelled it wrong. I spelled my name wrong. Bruh. <sighs> this sure is getting annoying. My apologies. With all of the technical issues. Green cat is getting annoying. No, I uh, I was gonna wait till you guys joined so I could uh, position the screen share, <laughs> but then um. Taking longer than I wanted. If I put this here, 
Okay, so I'm here. That goes down a bit lower. And if I copy this and move it, and then I change this to say, wait, who's some all right? Can you move your mouse, Excalibur? Okay, that's you. Okay, I that's oh, so much noise outside. I'm gonna have to wait. Why did it change it both? OBS is stupid. I. <sighs> Oh my gosh. I need to turn off Discord notifications as well. <laughs> no worry, I feel really bad for wasting your time, but it should be done in a second. Excalibur goes here, that's his. And I make one more for Aranza. <laughs> And then I have to go and close my window. Aranza, bold B, make it black. Click OK, and then scale it down. And then I put his over his. OK, I think. Um, Okay, I think we're ready. Let me just close my window. All right. Can I, I be heard? Can I be heard? Yes. Yes. Oh, let me just get something to snack on. Mm -hmm. Excuse me for being uncultured. One second. Don't worry about it. Girl. <laughs> Okay, I'm here, and I hope this is not going to be too annoying. Here, new crunch. No, it's all good. Testing, testing. I broke it. I broke it, guys. Oh, what happened? Oh, wait, no, it works. Okay, cool, it works. Excalibur, can, are you speaking? Yes, uh, yeah, I'm speaking now. Okay, it, it doesn't show Excalibur's <laughs> name for some reason. Uh, I changed the Discord overlay. Okay. Are you here, Excalibur? Yes, of course. Oh, it's working. Okay, cool. And then... Let me... Okay, sorry again. This is the last edit. Right will be 50. And then left will be 50. Okay, and then I'll move this to be center. And then I can just add an image. I'll make it a white image. And then I can make this, um... oh, I can stretch it, perfect. Can I rotate it? No, I, I can just stretch it. Um, right, 
to left, 60, 60, okay. Okay. Okay, I think we're, okay, yeah, okay, let's start. All right, so. Just start recording. What's I've been recording for 30, half an hour. Or you <laughs> want to start? Oh. Wait, why did we... mm. oh. You want me to go first? Doesn't, oh my gosh. When I alt tab the Discord to go in my browser, it um stops showing the screen share. No, it doesn't. One second, I, I need to see. Yeah, and OBS, it just changes it to gray. Why would OBS do this? It's so it's dumb. Switch to, um, switch to... Switch to what? Oh, you mean, yeah. Uh, so you mean all of our screen shares are gray or... Yeah, because uh, when I switch to... um. When I switch to Windows, and I don't look at Discord specifically, it, um... Well, I guess there's no way around that. We maybe just, um... Hmm. Yeah, my God. Either you want, I, you can just, I guess, um... Open, oh, like, uh, when, you, when you're the one rating something, um open and like keep your browser open and then at other times keep discord open instead maybe i don't know ah that looks epic hold on i will make this work Um, that's a bit badly cropped. Okay, if I go to my browser and I put this in my other window. Oh, my gosh. If I move this here. That makes it too small. Uh, I I guess I guess I got to admit defeat. Uh, oh, I I could just go, I could just go last. I guess <laughs> that's how. <we're>, okay. <clears throat> All right. Um. I just realized there is no Pit 5. <laughs> what happened to Pit 5? Pit 5 got renamed to be Sawmill. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's not really much of a Pit anymore. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. I mean, it isn't. <laughs> um, so we I, shall start then. We can start. <laughs> I just I just need to look get the um the maps. Cause I'm looking at yours, but it's a bit. Actually, it doesn't matter. Give me. A... I'm just gonna mute because I'm gonna sneeze. All right. Oh, hello! Thank you guys for joining. It's uh, you guys just joined, and we're starting right away. No delays whatsoever. <laughs> Why? Wait. <laughs> Why is yours cropped badly? Ah. <sighs> Something happened, and uh, wait, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna explode. I think it's because I popped it out of the window. Wait, what? Is it fixed? Okay, it's fixed. All right, for real this time. All right, welcome to the Cloud Hoppers chair list. So uh, we're yes. starting off with Frack and Frank's place. What do you guys think? Uh, this map. Yep. Okay. This map definitely is. It is quite close, and since there are hard walls, it is quite the perfect place for rocket launchers. That's for 
damn sure. <laughs> I think it's one of the maps of all time. What map? I I don't know. You go. He said. You go. The Aranza. maps of all time. What do you think, Aranza? I don't know. This is like you don't know. B high B or low A tier in my eyes. Um. There's um doesn't stand out a lot in my eyes, it, but it's still a good map. So um, I'll probably oops, sorry. Um, I'll probably change this layer on, but I guess I'll put it in A tier for the time being. Frank and Frank's honestly, my yeah. Honestly, um, I would go for C tier because, frankly, it doesn't have enough interactive elements in it. There is, there are the two jump pads, and there's that big red button. But aside from that, there aren't that many interactive elements in this map. And quite frankly, that puts this map firmly in C tier. Like maybe a high C tier, but it's still C tier. Gotcha. Well, um, in my opinion, I agree that um, it's not as exciting as the other maps, but it is one of the most different because a lot of the maps are just. They're just mountains, and this one has like an entire like wheel turning and cables floating. So, it's one of the unique maps. But yeah. In, in terms true. of uh, where uh, I rank it, that I is would, one good aspect of it. I would also rank it C because there I are guess maps. it does have buildings. <laughs> yeah, there are maps that I like more than it, so I'm gonna move mine to C as well. <laughs> I guess I ranked it. All right, well, Very high then. Well, if you like it that much, or if you, I mean, it's all. I good. don't know. I'm not sure yet. Like, you can always change it after. Don't worry. We can like yeah. uh, you can interject after we do another one and say you want to change it for some reason. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? B. I used to say it's low A or high B. I, I think it's more of high B. But, gotcha. Um, uh, there's a high chance I might change my mind later again. <laughs> That's no problem. Uh, yeah. Alright, if, if we're to move on, we can... Our next map is Key Below. Caliber? You wanna this, go first? This one is... Okay, this one is actually quite a lot of fun, especially with many players. Like, this is probably one of the biggest maps in the entire game. If not the biggest. And Man, for that that's... reason... Oh. Along with the fact that there's actually no place where you can fall it off. This is one of the other maps where you cannot fall off the map. It makes it quite entertaining for lobbies with multiple players, like over five people. Like, this is probably one of the best maps for that purpose. Yeah, Aside nice from it, that. though... You get a lot of uh, room to move around, but that can also make it so that matches go on for too long. So overall, I'm going to keep it at high B tier. Sounds good. What about you? Uh, they can go on. First of all, um, I just want to say um, the fact you said the biggest map really reminded me of the wide map that used to be in the game. I, I, that, I think that ne thing needs to be re-added, although probably... It needs to be adjusted a lot because it had a bunch of uh, solid and uh, solid objects on the map. It is kind of easy to just play a merry uh, go around like the entire time, especially if you play with certain ma uh, weapon sets. Like blasters only was hell on that map. Like, it was so hard to hit the other enemy. Um, so I think you know it would be nice to have that map back but anyways um keep it low i think is such a classic like uh this is one of the like in my eyes this is one of the perfect maps to me like um it's very simple yet um really really good i think it plays out really well no matter how many players you have the only issue is that you can kind of um camp uh, like behind the rocks sometimes, but it's not too bad. 
I think this is either A, high A tier, or S tier. I'm not sure yet, but I'll, I'll keep it in A for now. Yeah, going back to the wide map, that was uh, one of my favorites. Uh, when we added like all the moving contraptions, it got really complex and uh, I guess lost its charm. But I really like the vibe of the map. You got the sunset and uh, it's, one of, it's kind of nostalgic in a way because it's one of the earlier ones. I would like to see it back. And preferably without all the crazy stuff he added. Like, I liked how simple it was in the beginning. Yeah. Going back to Keep It Low, though. I think this might be the first Cloudhoppers map that was made. Do you remember, uh, Aranza? Yes. Um, at some point, it was even the only map that was in the game. Like, it's the only map we could play. Uh, actually, I think this and Pit 1 were, like, the first maps, but... Then pit one was removed temporarily, and then it was re-added back in. But yeah, keep it low is pretty much the first map, at least one of the first ones. I know that, but keep in mind, like Insomnia builds of the game had other maps, and I did. I remember one map of a UFO. Yeah, that looked kind of cool. Yeah. It would be nice to have those maps from those builds, but um. I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe those maps could have come before Keep It Low, but this is definitely, um, like, at some point, the only map in the game, so that's that. Yeah, um, we, I would love to see some more maps, but preferably uh, maps that are more unique than just another mountain theme. Yeah. But yeah, in my opinion, it's uh very very good you know like Excalibur said it's one of the bigger maps so it, it it goes really nicely when you have a lot of people around and i don't have much to say besides what i just said i'm gonna it's one of the few maps that i would consider an s tier yo epic very epic maybe i did it a disservice by keeping it at just b tier i think i'm gonna put it at a tier <laughs> let's go well, we're ready to move on. That's the next map we have is Pieces. You want to go first this time, Green Cat? Uh, sure. Well, uh, Pieces and I, we don't know each other very well. We don't know well. each other very well. Wait, let's go over. I'm hearing Wait, myself over. again. Hearing myself again. Oh, no. no. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Pieces is wait. a very interesting map. What? Oh, wait. Oh, you fixed it. Cool. Uh, you, you can start okay. if you want. All right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Pieces is definitely a cool map, actually, because I just love the space aesthetic, especially with the floating little islands that you can maneuver around. It really makes it special, in my opinion. Like, it's got such a unique aesthetic to it that I can't help but put it on high A tier, maybe even S tier, if I feel good about my mood, depending on my mood. I hear you. Like, it's got a bunch of platforms, and there's even a giant UFO on the top, and that's pulling in a cow. I like that detail a lot. Yeah, this is a... And overall, I just love the aesthetic. This is the uniqueness that we need more in Cloudhopper's maps. I mean, yeah. Bounce House is pretty unique, so it's a great bounce. Well, we'll get to that later, but uh, this one has like the floating islands and the floating cow. It has a very clear theme, so it's I like that it's different. What do you think, Lorenzo? Um, yeah, uh, I pretty much. Wait, oops, I probably should have been looking at the Excalibur stream and not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, um, but I, I pretty much agree, like, Pieces is a very unique map, um, now, um, Pieces is a map that really benefited, like, a lot from, uh, the removal of fall damage, because this map used to be a fall damage simulator, like, you <laughs> jump off a spring, and then you land right next to it, and you take fall damage, if this was- Yikes! This was a tier list in one of those early versions of the game. I would definitely put this lower, but this has to go either in S tier or A tier. Like I can't put it lower because of how unique it is. It plays out really nicely. It's not even like even 
And surprisingly enough, even though it looks like you could fall off easily, it's actually doesn't happen that often, like you might expect. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's a it's a good thing. Um, and overall, it's a really fun map to me. Like it's one of the most unique maps. Um, I this uh, this has to be in either S tier or A tier. Like I can't. There, there is, um, there's no other place for it in my eyes. I think S tier, like it's one of the best maps for sure. Um, so yeah, Green Cat. Oh, I'm muted. What you gotta say? Yeah. <laughs> hey Charlie, we're doing a we're doing a tier list. So yeah, um, sure. my opinion is um. Yeah, so I'm not sure how to explain this, but uh, you know, each maps have like different paths and different like feelings to them. The way, like the way you tra- uh, traverse the different platforms and uh, pieces is a uh, is a uh, I guess unique in that way as well. You got the floating islands, you kind of go like up, down, up, down a lot with the spring pads. But yeah, in my opinion, I would uh, put this A tier. Epic. Nice. And uh, I think uh, when we're done, we can probably rank the different tiers because uh, we're not doing it in like the order of each. So if you have different A tiers, we can reorganize the order when we're done, I suppose. Yeah, sure. But yeah, if we want to move on from pieces. There's definitely going to be some reshuffling. Yeah, shuffling. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. can move on to so, approach. Yeah, so I guess I can just not care about the order of them for now. Like inside of tiers. No, I don't, I'm not caring about it either, because I'm going to change it later. Yeah, so we'll have that for the end. Um, Finch. Yeah, you want to, who wants to go first? Should I go first? Sure, because I'm kind of indecisive about this one. I'll need more time to think about it. Well, uh, we, we added the rising go ahead. Ball. And that was made it really, really good for team game. You would have the different uh, teams on either side, and it would be a lot of fun uh, dropping the wall, rising the wall t- to uh, take cover and then to like the, to attack. And um, yeah, it's good for team game. We changed that wall to add like uh, some spikes so you could fall into, and uh, I don't. It was okay, but the real strength of this map was the rising wall, separating the map into two sides, and uh, we realized that, so we brought it back. So I really like the way you can like jump on the different platforms, and uh, it, it's one of the unique. Well, I guess all of them are similar, but uh, it has like uh, yeah. It's one of the unique mountain maps, I guess. <laughs> I want to do it justice by explaining why, but uh, <laughs> it's too similar. <laughs> but um, it's great for team game. I'm gonna rate it A tier as well because these are the these are this one is one of my favorites. Who wants to go next? Scalper. Well. About Finch, well, before the, there used to be a time period in between a very old patch and the newest patches where Finch had the saw at the spike trap. And quite honestly, I didn't like it too much because although he could trap players with it, more often than not, it was a hassle to set up and maneuver around so that you get players to fall onto the spikes. And even though the spikes were did help out in chipping out the player enemy players' da- health, I still much prefer the current setup of it being a wall because now it has a defensive purpose, and it is a lot easier to set up and raise and lower down, and it opens up a bunch of interesting possibilities. Like players can now make a run for it, trying to get to that lever. And that leads to a lot of chaotic mayhem, which I love. Understandable. Yeah, absolutely. I love uh, hitting the lever back and forth. A cool trick, I'm not sure if you know, if you hit the lever to rise up, if you jump right before the wall rises at the top, you get like a jump boost and you can jump on the platform above. Oh, so, I've never known that. It's really fun to do. I've got to try that out. What do you think, Aranza? Mmm. It's, I don't know, um, but I definitely, you know, to be honest, 
I definitely agree with like the wall being a great addition. Like it's so such a simple change yet uh it makes a drastic difference. It's not just in team games, uh, like even even in regular games it's unique. And even though like it might seem like you could easily just camp, it's, you actually can't. Like it's an, you can't really camp all that much. Uh, and you know what? To be honest, I wouldn't mind if this lever was even gone entirely, so the wall was permanently there. But it's not that I mind it being there. But you no, know, I wouldn't mind it uh, if it was gone either. Uh, and I don't know if I'd put it in along with keep it low though. And you know what? Now that's uh, you know, funny enough, I didn't think I'd put fracking Frank's place lower, but it feels like they uh, pinch and fracking Frank's place don't belong in the same tier. And I don't know if I put it together with keep it low. Yet I don't know if I want to put it with fracking Frank's place, so mm -hmm. I'm kind of having a hard time deciding. This side, this side. I think I can... I'll put it in A tier for now. There's a chance I might just move this and fracking Frank's place by one tier down both. But it will be like this for now. Uh, gotcha. Um, yeah, uh, that's my take on it. Yeah, I think the strength of the map is the wall. So even if you can, if it falls or not, there's no lever. It's it would still be a good map. I do appreciate yeah. that um, it's split in two, but you can change the map to just be like a like a. You can bring down the gates and a fight, and then bring it back up at your leisure. So I, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, although I'm pretty sure it remains um, up for like most games. For like entire matches, as far as I've seen, I don't remember seeing that wall. I remember seeing that wall um, not being brought down even once at, during certain rounds. Like, and that's uh, I mean, it's good, I guess. I mean, I prefer yeah. to have cover from the other team, but uh, yes. if we're ready to move on, pit one. Yes. Frankly, this map has quite the fatal flaw in. Frankly, being kind of unfair for team games, at least, because one side has a freaking lever that can pretty heavily hinder the mobility of the other team. So there is the left side and there's the right side. And obviously the right side has a big advantage. They not only have two levels in the wooden podiums, there's also the lever, which can control the central central pad which can either be a regular wooden pad or a jump pad and they can just decide the flow of the gameplay essentially and frankly i think i want to put this on d tier because i don't like unfairness in team games yeah i agree with you actually i agree with you actually wait i can hear myself again <laughs> what's happening again. what's happening that goes scoliver no scoliver no Hello? Mm -mm, he, un he muted himself. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been muting myself as well. I'm not talking because of the background noise. But, um, yeah, I, I brought it up that um, it's not equal. You got the lever on one side, and it also has the spring pad, but the other side has nothing. Yeah. You can't jump over the flipping platform to get over it just fine, but um, it is a, an equal in a way. It's like a unbalanced, I would say. But,. Even regardless of all of this, it's S tier for me. <laughs> Yo, it needs a fixing take. or like changes, I guess. I agree that it's not balanced. That it's not balanced. Mute your mic, it's calling her. I can hear myself. I'm sorry, I can't do much about it. Do you? Uh, <laughs> uh, um, just uh, oh my God, so just I'm like so toggle loud, mute, so loud. push to mute, push to mute. Yeah, sorry. Do does he use speakers or headphones? Headphones? Yet, he that can somehow hear himself with this. Maybe your microphone should be a little bit further away from you. If you can, if you can do that. It's pretty weird, but uh, you can just mute when you're not talking, and when you're talking, uh, we will be quiet. But, but yeah. yeah. What do you think, Oranza? 
I think pit one and pinch are now reasons why I want to place this in C tier. And um, because I don't know, I feel like pit one, um, I can't put it high up. I don't know, I can't put it in uh, uh, very low down either. And because I feel like it's quite a basic map. Yeah, it's kind of cool in a way. Like, uh, it's the good kind of basic. But I can't put it in S tier because of the issues. Like, uh, in every possible way, right side is better than the left side. The only thing left side has going for it is uh, more space to maneuver, but um, that doesn't really help. Like, you have a springboard on the right side. So you can dodge stuff way more easily. You have, you have way more horizontal space to move. Is And, yeah, the lever, like... It's really, I really don't think this was necessary to be added. Like, uh, this map used to not have that lever. It used to be just a normal bridge in the middle. And to be honest, I feel like it should have remained that way. And I'll put this in B tier. Um, because it's kind of, in, uh, it's also very easy to just camp on one side and, you know, prevent the other player from getting to your side, especially if you're on the right. It's, in my opinion, like, um, really cool map is just, um, it's not very uneven. Like, it's the, it's arguably the most uneven map on, in the entire game, in my, yeah. at least... Yeah, I can't it's... remember any right now, so I can sorry, I can't put this higher. Um even though I really do like this map. It's just I feel like it needs changes. We hear I, you. Yeah, it's, I uh... in fact I'll just write this I should write some of this down later on. Like um this map yeah, it, it really didn't need this lever. It really didn't. Well it I'm gonna cut you off simpler. there. Uh, I huh? agree with you. It doesn't need the lever or the jump pad. I think without both of those, and without the flipping platform, it's great. Yeah, I feel like... It Just remove really... those stunts, yeah. And if we're gonna have that, it should... Uh... First off, it should be... Because it's another nice map for team game. You've got the two, uh, fact, two sides. And I think each side should have equal opportunities, like equal... I guess stuff you can do if you're gonna have like the contraptions but uh and if we're gonna have them they should be like interesting and fun to use and not just uh not that useful i guess yeah all right i'm yeah. uh i guess we can move on to pit two but i, Oops, uh, but I... what had <laughs> he already said <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna run to the bathroom this is what All happens right. when I set the computer. But if you want to discuss, so you can discuss in pit two. I'll be right back. Mm. Well, I, I guess I want. I, I guess I want. Oh I'm, so I'm so loud. I'm so loud. You're quiet. You're quiet again. In any case, pit two is rather. I, it's pretty much the only nighttime map aside from pieces, but pieces is more of a space map, while Pit 2 is more of a nighttime map, but it's still on the mountains. And in terms of level design, I don't think it really sticks out all too much. Like, sure, there are the tree areas where you can fall down, but aside from that, it doesn't really feel all too special. And in my opinion, it belongs in low B tier, high C tier. Actually, I'll put it on C tier, below Franking Fly Frank's place, because at least the former has buildings. This one is just your regular old mountain map. And I guess it's fun, but there are definitely way better maps than this one. What do you say? I'm wait, back. wait, I'm back. hello, I hello. Oh no, you gotta mute me. Oh, you gotta mute me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to agree. It got recently changed, and the changes are nice. It's nice and compact, but um, it doesn't feel that special to me. What What did you think, Aranza? Like a summary of what you were thinking? Oh, you think it's S tier? <laughs> 
Um, I, uh, yo, I, I know I'll get tomatoes thrown at me for this, um, but um, I feel like it's simplicity. Like it's the best. This map has the best kind of simplicity in my eyes. Is um the ideal kind. Like even better than keep it low somehow. Um, I j I think I just think it's um. Uh, and it is simple, but uh, the simplicity is its charm to me. Um, so I I have to put this in. Like I, this is one of the few maps. Um, to me, it's just um, I didn't even think much of it. I knew I was going to put this high up already, like before we even started. And yeah, I I know it doesn't really have much, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased. Um, Maybe it's also because it's one of the first few uh, first maps um, that have been added, so you know, um, kind of got used to it. Uh, but yeah, it's in my eyes. It plays out pretty well, like really smoothly. Uh, it's just perfect for me. Yeah, I do agree that um, it is simple, and that's really good about it. The simplification yeah. meter this map and as well to pit free are pretty nice. I guess I just uh, don't feel much charm from it, I guess. But I'm going to put this at C tier. I see. Uh, if you want to... Uh, I get it. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Scalver, you're fun. supposed to be silent to let him bash in the awkward silence. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, <laughs> my allergies are really bothering me right now, so I'm going to take a moment to speak when I'm talking. Uh, yeah, so if you want to move on to Pit Free, um, I can start first. I really I really like this map. It was, uh, I really liked, uh, I guess, the, the, the design of the level. You got uh, the droppable platform, and then you got left and right. Might be another decent one for team game. Uh, but with the recent change, I think it's nice and simple. But um, I guess I kind of liked that it was a bit of a larger map. I prefer it being a bit bigger, but it is nice and compact. And uh, it has the one-of-a-kind target. No other map has this yet. And uh, it works pretty well. If you're running across the bridge, I can throw a projectile and try to get you. And uh, players will just might just opt to jump over it, but some players will still get, get thrown down. So uh, it's uh, pretty funny. But um, I think the changes to the spring pads, left and right, is much better than what it was before. What it was before is a lot tricky, and right now it's a... Uh, you can fall on the spring pad with a charge bridge and fly across the map, and uh, it works. it's really useful. So if I had to rate this, I would put this at an A tier. Fair enough. Um, go ahead. Um, I guess I can give my take on it now. Um, to be honest, I don't know. Um, I I feel like. Um, I don't really know. Like it's simple in the same way as Pit Two, but I don't feel its charm as much. I feel like it's in B tier for me, and probably below Pit One. Like once we get uh, once we get to reordering them, but um, yeah, actually it already is below it. But I think I don't know. I don't feel much about this. I think it was actually kind of funny in the past because uh, it was just some. Um, a uh, massive bridge on the top. There was no target, and um, there was a left and right island. I think they were a little bit smaller, and there were also two small platforms in the middle from which you could jump onto the top bridge. And it was really easy to fall off, but I think it was kind of fun. You know, I think this this is another map that I I kind of feel like it was better in the past. I don't know, uh, but. To me, this is B tier right now, low B tier. I don't feel much about it. Yeah, I can't point out what it was, but um, I do feel like it was a bit better in the past. But I do acknowledge that the changes made or make it a lot better. I guess I, I guess I just like it being a bit bigger. Now, what do you think, Excalibur? I see you put it in A tier. Yeah, I definitely think it's 
You're so quiet. So quiet. Really? But you're. But you're. Okay. So, entry is definitely one of the best apps out there because not only is it quite decent in terms of size, it also has a bunch of layers to it. Like, there's the grass pad layers, and then there's the wooden podium. And on top of that, there's the section where there's the target. And if you hit the target, there's a, and there's a trap door that can drop down. And this trap door mechanism can be utilized pretty effectively in gameplay. So players can actually target it, and it also is a point of contention. So people can fight over that uh, target, and that can lead to a lot of interesting gameplay scenarios. I also appreciate that this is also one of the more equal maps. Like, there's if teams spawn equally on one side or the other, it should be roughly a fair fight, depending on, on how skilled the players are, instead of the map being itself unfair. I also really like the jump pads. And even though I don't know how to charge punch and move around with incredible velocity, I still feel it has a lot of potential that I haven't gotten around to mastering it yet. Oh, yeah. You gotta... Also, the moving uh, pad, which also adds an element of uh, interactivity into this. So, yeah, definitely a great map. And I also like the evening aesthetic of this map. Like, it's got the orange sky and the glowing orange, orange yellow sun that signifies it's going to be night in a couple of hours. And I like that aesthetic. And even if it's just another generic country map, it, I still like it a lot. Yeah. Fair enough. It is. Yeah, a, um... I'm gonna have to agree with you, Scalper. The moving a platform sometimes saves you from falling, so it is a uh, nice to have. But yeah, you said everything pretty well. Uh, and the, the sunset is a uh, pretty good. It's a it's a good feeling that um, uh, you just uh, your day's ending. You just, I mean, you're you're beating people up, so it doesn't really feel like a peaceful time. But if you're playing the game, it does feel like a peaceful time. What do you think, Aranza? I heard you're gonna say something. Yeah, the, um, I didn't really talk about aesthetics, but I mean, I didn't really take uh, them into account all that much. But um, it does, yeah, it's good in terms of that. But I also, um, yeah, pitch to I ranked it so high. Um, it's some very minor, like it contributes very mi uh, minorly, but. Um, I liked the P2's aesthetic as well. Like both P2 and P3 have a nice aesthetic in my eyes. Mm, again, they, they, it's not really a major contributor contributing factor to me, um, but still, uh, thought it was worth mentioning. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, so if you want to move on, next we have. Pit four. Uh, does anyone want to go first? I guess I will. Um, pit four. Um, very average map. I don't really find this unique at all, and I don't find it that interesting either. Like this is very average to me. Um, not much to say about it because of how average it is. I I just really don't. I don't think much of it to be honest. What about you, Excalibur? Well, I gotta agree with Aranza. Even though I do appreciate this map being mostly fair, I definitely don't care for it as much as Pit 3. Because it's very generic, and unlike Pit 3, which has the evening aesthetic, this is just your afternoon map with some hills, and it doesn't even have some interactive elements aside from the water, which you can actually jump on for some reason. It's kind of weird. And I otherwise feel like this map is very generic. I'm gonna agree with you both. Eat here. It's uh, generic. It's not interesting. It's uh, it's an F tier for me. There's not much to say about it. I think every Cloudhopper's map is unique and has some interesting level design. But it it is obvious that um, even if it's a decent designed map, it's not that interesting. So um, yeah, it's a F tier for me. But uh, I agree with you guys' feedback. 
I guess we're moving on really fast to go to Sawmill, huh? Huh? What's the start uh, of Sawmill? Well, um, yeah, I also, you know, I just, you know, I would, to be honest, I put speed 4, maybe lower, but I'm saving D tier for one map only, and I'm not going to use F tier. I literally wanted the F tier just so I wouldn't use it. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, wow. Well, um, I'm going to be shifting some maps around when I'm done, but uh, I hear you. What do you think about a Samo, though? Uh, Samo, um, I don't know, like, it's... I guess it's an alright map. Like, I could put it along with Pit 1 and 3. Uh, it's a decent map. Doesn't have a lot of going, uh, a lot of stuff going for it, but um, I think it's fairly balanced and decent enough, I suppose. So it's a B tier for you, okay? Um... Yeah. Well, I'm actually debating between B and A, but it's going to be B for now. I would I say that a lot of the map's movement, you move left or right, left or right. Um, unusually on Sawmill, you can move in a like an oval, like a circle. From up bottom, you can like move in a circle back and forth, and it's a. Uh, the movement on the map is a uh, pretty unique. I really like being up above, shooting below, and then down below, dodging bullets and shooting back up. It's a nice dynamic. I like the changes we did to the levers. That made it a lot better. The saws are pretty cool. If someone's right behind you, they know that the saw is coming if they played it before. But if they're trying to get you like right behind your back, you can uh, hit them with the saw. And um, I would rate this A tier. What yeah, do you think, fair enough. Uh, Excalibur? Well, I'm gonna be put this on B tier because I do like this map being fair again because. I do appreciate fair maps after I witnessed the atrocity that was pit one. I am actually going to put this in F tier now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, the difference. He's got an it. F and I've got an S. But I definitely agree with his feedback on a pay one. It's, um, he has the unnecessary spring pad, platform, and lever. And it's unequal opportunities for both sides. But I do think that in terms of design, or I guess the map itself, it's nice, it's simple, it's split off well, and it's uh, just feels really good. But we're not talking about Pit 1, we're talking about... Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, Sawmill. Sawmill. <laughs> are we ready to move on? Uh, pit 6. Hmm. Um, right. Girl, not just... yet, actually. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we didn't actually cover completely about Sawmill, like... For instance, I do kind of think that the sawmill aspect of sawmill is kind of undercooked. Like, sure, you do have the two levers that can activate a big old saw that can damage players, but I don't think enough of the gameplay revolves around the saw itself. Like, you could move around the, to the top layers and kind of ignore the saw, in my opinion. Hmm. And speaking of the top section... People can actually camp there with Blaster, and if they're sufficiently skilled enough, they might not have enough counterplay to ever be beaten up before they slaughter everyone else. And that's one of the big flaws of this map. Yeah, I guess that's some good feedback. Uh, originally, we had it so that once you activate the saw, it would permanently move back and forth, and it was like crazy. And uh, um, I'm not sure how, how I feel about that. I think it was pretty fun, but... It did have much more of a presence on that map, so I guess the saw works. I did say it's pretty fun, but uh, maybe it could be expanded on in a bigger way. But I agree, at the top of Sawmill, there's no consequences there, so it's kind of like a safe place to be. And um, maybe it should be less of that. I'm not sure. Maybe you could just like split it off, like a, instead of having one full walkway, you could have like a two different platforms that makes it easier to fall off of, but uh, whatever we do, uh, I agree with your feedback. I, I guess we can move on to pit six, huh? Um, can I go first? I will be done with Go first. Quickly. Um, this is D tier for me. It's pit four, but more claustrophobic. That's it. It's literally the same thing, but it's uh, worse. That's the only way I see it. Um, yeah, I've been saving D tier for this. Um, Yo. it's like, 
it's the very definition of average and there it has nothing going for it in my eyes like i i don't really think much of it at all i hear you what do you think excalibur yeah i agree with Arendt that this is bit four but even worse if bit four oh, was well. a step down from bit three then bit six is a further step down from bit four so now we got two levels from bit three and this is what we get it's very average there's not much depth to it there's only two spots you can drop off from the map and unlike bit four which is at least somewhat equal bit six is not very equal the left side has the advantage of more easy access to the top layer that is near the river uh, then uh, the right side where you have to get through two layers before you can actually get on top of the ledge and honestly i don't like this map all too much it's better than pick one but still not very good yeah understandable I agree with your feedback yeah. um, um what's yeah um this is unrelated but i like the fact that um four of the pit maps are all placed together at the bottom in your tier list <laughs> it's a funny coincidence <laughs> nice <laughs> Anyways, go on. Yeah. Um... One thing I do find funny is there's no Pit 5. What happened to it? Pit 5 got renamed to Sawmill. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we're getting. It's not really a now. Pit anymore. I mean, I guess they should have names. Like, a, a Plateau is called Plateau, but it has a big sign that says Big Max Mill. It's it's kind of weird <laughs> that it's not named that, but uh, maybe in the future. But uh, as for pit six, um, well, I agree with your feedback. It's um, I guess it's not that interesting. And the rise of the map, you're right. When you have to climb up, you probably sometimes have to like make two efforts to reach the top layer as opposed to the left map. But um. I've had my I've have, have had my moments on this map. I remember jumping across with the spring pad and landing on the very very edge of the far right platform and making it back alive. And uh, that's a great feeling. And I do like the big rock and uh, being able to stand in it and risk getting knocked off, but also being higher than everyone else, having a clear vantage point to shoot your uh, rockets or your your lasers. If I had to rate this, oh, don't move it. I keep moving the list. Okay, I would have to rate it a. Um, this might be a hard decision. I'm going to rate this a D. Oh, I guess Oranza. Wait, we're all D, D tier. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Yeah. Epic. Universal yeah. agreement. Universal yeah. agreement. Well, um. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm I'm starting to feel like uh, changing this F tier and renaming it to Meme tier, because I have a few maps here that um, one of the some of the last maps that are left here. To be honest, like they 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 <laughs> deserve a tier of their own. There's, <laughs> I might just rename F tier and make it Meme tier. You can do what you want. It's all good. Yeah. Um. But uh, I won't go first though. Not this time. No problem. Um. Next we have a uh, burping bird. Uh. Excalibur, you're up. This is possibly the most chaotic map in the entire game, and I love it. It it's great for team game where. If you have a whole bunch of players, it's the most chaotic experience you'll ever get. And yeah, it's chaos incarnate. That's all I can say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, chaos, it's good chaos, and chaos is fun. At the beginning, I didn't really like it that much because it was very easy to fall off or die. But we added respawning. It's optional, but um, I made it a bit more bearable. And then we added the spring pads, I mean the trampolines. If you read my uh, blog post, you would see that I said that it feels like a, bo a boxing ring. Very often you get knocked back into the arena, and if you get, and uh, <laughs> it's all the chaos fighting up, you get unfortunately knocked off, blown away, and then the spring pads, the trampolines bounce you back into the action, and uh, 
there's not a lot of control or like a freedom or like it's not very comfortable but i think it being a bit hard to maneuver makes it a a, a, a fun experience if i had to rate it i would give it a um I would give it a B. I might change that, but that's how I feel right now. What do you think, Aranza? Um, yeah, um, I, I uh, seriously said I'd rename this to Meme Tier because of this map and one other. Uh, and this totally goes against what I said earlier, because this is going to be um, the worst tier again. Because meme tier, like, it's, um, I'm, uh, meme, I don't mean it's F tier, like, it's, I don't mean it's bad. It just, uh, it feels like it's, um, some of these maps deserve a tier of their own, like, they can be, they are really funny, and in my eyes, and they're absolute memes, but when it comes to actual, uh, how they're enjoyable they are, like, um, in Burping Bird's case, like, it can be really funny, and it can be quite chaotic. Which would lean towards like A tier or S tier, but the, at the same time, it feels like I hardly have any control over my character, especially when there's more players. When there's two or three, it's not that bad, but um, the fact that it's so damn small, like I can hardly even do anything when there's too many players. So this is like S to B tier. Like this is why I want. And this is why I made this. Like I don't know where to put this, but this is totally a tier of its own in my eyes. Like its placement entirely depends on how many players there are. Like completely. Like, if there are too many players, it's definitely B tier. But if there aren't many, um, A or S, I'd say. Yeah, I understand that. Um, yeah, the amount of players definitely changes the experience. Yeah, Sorry, and, like, give me a second, but uh, you can yeah. talk. I'll give yeah, you well, like it's just, uh, every map, uh, yeah, like the experience in every map changes based on the amount of players. But this is like a special type of special map. Like it's completely different if you have more players. Um, so yeah, I feel like it does. It needs a tier of its own in my eyes. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say, depending on how many players, my strategy switches up. So I would like, if there's not a lot of players, I would try to maneuver the um, the level. And if there's more players, I might opt to duck and uh, shield at, at uh, below one of the rocks. Whenever I have like a like a, sh a rocket launcher, I would jump on the spring pad, jump on the trampoline, and I would shoot through the um, rocket launcher to everyone on the level and then the recoil would bounce me back into the trampoline and I would just do that three times in a row without falling. And that would make sure I'm away from the explosion and uh, it's also satisfying I guess. But I agree yeah. with your feedback. You can probably hear that my voice is starting to go. It's because of my allergies and it's because I don't usually talk this much any ever. <laughs> but yeah. it's... We have three more maps though, so... Um... <clears throat> yeah. Um, bounce house, bounce house. Yeah, well, uh, see the case. Oh, sorry. Um, just one more thing. Yeah, I agree. Like, you know, my strategy is also like, unique when um, there are too many players. Uh, like, um, if there are a lot of players, then my strategy is to um, stay as close to the middle as possible and pray to gods I don't get hit by a bomb. It's a very good strategy. It works 50% um, uh, of the time, it works every time. Nice. <laughs> Um, bounce, bounce house. house. I'll let um, Excalibur take this one. Sure. This is another fun map where you can you have, have a, you'll have a lot of people bouncing around with the tires, and it's also quite chaotic if given the right circumstances. Like people bouncing around and them frantically trying to control their momentum. That also makes them easy prey for weapons, however, like shotguns, blasters, and especially rocket launchers. They can really turn this place into a scrap heap, and I love it. This is another pretty iconic map. There's no mistaking it. It's very memorable. The aesthetic, it looks like a junkyard where the tires of old cars get thrown around into one giant pile. And there's even this cargo train 
with its own platform. And the platform also adds in a variable element where people can stand on and they can move around. And overall, it's a riot. I love it. It's A tier for me. Nice. What about a... Should I go or do you want to go, Ranzo? Um, and anything's fine by me. I'll go first. Sure. Yeah, definitely Excalibur. And um, in this game, you got a few mechanics. You move around, you can roll, you can shoot, you can charge punch, you can kick punch, a few things. And you do the same for all the maps. But when you're in Bounce House, there's like a new mechanic involved. You gotta be skilled at bouncing and rolling. So Bounce House, unlike all the other maps, is a different gameplay experience. And um, as for the design of the map, the tires, it's really fun to bounce around and try to dodge and to get to where you're going. If you know how to charge punch and use it to like fire really far, then uh, you can get around the map pretty fast. And um, Mal recently changed it so that the, the edges of the um, tires are sloped on the left and right. If you charge punch against those slopes, you fly straight up into the air and you can use it to quickly ascend up and that's pretty fun. I think it needs some tweaking, but uh, that change made it a lot more fun. And the movement platform is a lot of fun as well. If I had to rate it, I would give this... Mm, it's between A tier and S tier, I think. I think it's high A tier, but uh, I'll change everything afterwards. What about you, Lorenzo? To be honest, um, first of all, I would like um, I'm pretty much um, like my placement would be probably the same as yours. Um, but I actually have a little bias towards this map because um, I really liked um, its first versions um, because I really enjoyed when um, it was. It felt like it. Um, even more of a bounce house than it is now. Like um, the entire floor was covered in the in entire in a massive springboard, and I actually enjoy that more. I felt like it, the map used to be more unique than it is now. Um, like it feels um, right now. I feel um, I tend to maybe it's just my thing, but I tend to stay away from uh, these tires. Most of the time, because it's really harder to control myself when I'm uh, bouncing everywhere. Um, but uh, so it's not, uh, it doesn't feel like as much of a bounce house as it used to be. Also, like you uh, axes and stuff, like they used to bounce around way more often, way, way, uh, way more. Like, um, and it was other chaos. Like, um, so. If I if this map was the way it used to be, this would be like top of the list for me. But because it's not, it has to be either low S or high A. I but I think I will still give it low S because of how unique it is. Like it's still pr a pretty unique map. I just really feel like it, um, it didn't need to be changed this much. I feel like it could. It could be made even more bouncy. It doesn't feel like a bounce house um, anymore. I mean, it does, but not as much. I mean, the original bounce house is just... Um, it was my favorite version of it, I guess. But I will still put this in low S tier. Um, yeah. I, I just love the map. Like, it's really unique. I agree, because um, you probably you didn't know this. When we added the trampolines and we like uh, we changed it so that um, when you bounce items off of them, they don't at attack you anymore. They would just bounce off and don't do any damage. So I was saying that um, we really needed to make bring it back so that the axes bounce around like in bounce house. Because uh, I mentioned it to um, I think uh, was it Mal or I think Paul actually. Paul just you. They they're the one that did the programming. Part of the fun of original bounce house was getting your axes from them against a trampoline and watching them ricochet into havoc. They would just fly across the map left and right, and it was so much fun trying to dodge them. The current version, it's not that crazy anymore. I prefer the older way, but they at least still bounce and uh, do damage. I wouldn't mind if axes and stuff bouncing around were more crazy and uh, cause more yeah. havoc, but I do like 
like I mentioned, Bounce House offers a different gameplay experience on the other maps, so that's why it's so high for me. Yeah, I think I, I'm pretty sure Axe is uh, uh, used to like. Uh, at first, they they definitely did like, deal damage uh, even after bouncing around. Maybe that was changed later on or something because I definitely remember people getting hit by axes um, even after they bounce around the entire map for uh, like many times. So that must seem like a change they made later on. Uh, so I think I really think I think you like the original bounce house because it did. Um, um, axes and stuff definitely did work after bouncing, like they did damage. I should uh, say that um, they do do damage now, we just, uh, I mentioned that uh, they ch changed it so that it didn't, and I I mentioned that it should still ah. do damage, because uh, I meant, I showed them the original bounce house and mentioned that that's what made it so fun, so uh, ah, I, I see. Yeah. It was removed for a while and added it back. <clears throat> but I will say, um, Excalibur. Yeah. Uh, if you were loaded any of the old... Oh, sorry, you didn't go yet. I forgot. I'm sorry. I wanted, I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah. I, I meant to say that Um. Okay. I have a lot of old builds, and I think Lorenzo might have some old builds. If you load them up, they still work. You can still play online of them. So maybe uh, next week we can try playing on like the old, old cloud operation from like one or two years ago. That'd be pretty fun. Hey, can, well, can you... I don't have them. I used to keep them around, but... Uh... Um, I I stopped because on um, that was back when I was on my uh, on an older PC and I didn't have a lot of space. I couldn't keep every single build anymore, so I had to uh, only keep the current uh, builds. And now that we have Steam, I um, I do have like a lot of space on this new PC. But well, now uh, now we have the Steam version of the game. We just Auto, opti auto updates itself, and uh, I don't even, you know, I can't have multiple versions of the game anymore. So, uh, I you will need to send both of us um, the older versions of the game. But yeah, I would be absolutely down for that. I would love to do that. It would be fun. I think it was last year, James and I revisited an older version, and um, it was a lot of fun. And we, I think we played on uh, wide. That was so cool to see it back. No, not just that. We, I think we saw the original Bounce House, like the old, old version, and it was so nostalgic, so good. But um... Oh my god, I have to play that then. I really do. Like, I want to go back to that Bounce House. But also, um, yeah, when I was playing, I think very soon, I, I, I actually I saved uh, the majority of bills that, uh, were, that were released. I have them on my computer. But when we started updating on Steam with the auto update, I stopped saving them. So I don't have anything that's newer than Steam, but uh, I have a lot of stuff older, so that would be pretty cool to share. I, um, yeah, seems good. Next, uh, Plateau. Well, Excalibur. from what you've all said about uh, Bounce yeah. House, it sounds like the current version sounds like a very badly nerfed version of the <laughs> older Bounce House. <laughs> you like, could uh, and you know, yeah. Yeah. You throw the axes and they just. They, it was like a bug. wire. They were like they just... hit against the um the couch and he would just fly into space and come back down. Yeah, it was I... so crazy. Yeah. It was a bit extraordinary. I should send that you a clip or two. That could have been an easy S tier. Exactly. I would literally put this um, that above pieces like um. It would be a and you know what? One. I can yeah. I might just put this in high A too because the more I talk about it, the more I uh, the more I feel like it's been really nerfed down and it doesn't even deserve to be S tier anymore. I might move it down later on, but maybe at the end. Yeah. Do you want to start? If on the, the current bounce house was okay, if the current bounce house was a great white shark, the older. Bounce House would have been a freaking Megalodon. Yeah. For yeah, true, seriously. yeah. Oh, we gotta show you wide as well. Yeah, when you try next week, the old build, we show you the wide map that we're both missing. But, uh, yeah. Oh, if you, yeah. If you wanna... I'm gonna check it out. Um, some noise two, um, Plateau, Plateau. What do you think? Plateau. Um, hmm, I'm kinda... It's kinda hard to decide. Like... It feels like it does, it's a simple map, 
Um, it's kind of in a similar position to pit three in my eyes, but in maybe not as fun. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to decide, to be honest. Like, I I'm, maybe that. I'll put it in B tier for now. I like it's. I don't. I I can hardly even say anything about it. I kind of like the layout of it though. It's just that it doesn't really have anything unique for it. But I do like the layouts for sure. Actually, maybe it will be above P3, but I don't know. Uh, and definitely somewhere around here for me though. It's yet another simple map that um, does. Uh, it's a decent kind of simple. Or good, I don't know. Somewhere around there. I'll get it here for now. Gotcha. Well, it'll probably change later. I think, in my opinion, um, maybe I like the older version better. I mean, I think the older version still needed some improvements to make it more fun, but um, or maybe not. I, it's been a while, but the newer version, I think it's the biggest map in the game. It's pretty cool being up on the roof, and um, I guess it's not much to say about it. I think it's it looks cool. But it's not that interesting to me. I guess oh. it feels kind of generic. If I were to rate it, I would put this in D tier. What do you think, Excalibur? Or uh, Aranza, did you want to say something? Well, well um, pretty much. Like, I, the only thing I can appreciate is that it allows for a lot of freedom. But yeah, and other than that, it's pretty much the same as what I said earlier. But um, I don't know, I do kind of wish I knew what the older version was like, but I don't really remember. I might, I probably did play it, but I don't. Re I just don't remember it. Um, I probably didn't play it enough. That's the thing. Do you have any screenshot of it? I can share it afterwards, but um, it's uh, it's more, it's kind of generic as well. It feels similar to uh, maybe Pit Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. But you know, I the only reason why I rate it higher than Pit Four is, I don't know. To be honest, I guess it just feels better. To it's me. bland. It, it is four bland. Is yeah. bland. But uh, what do you think, Xolver? Sorry to cut you off earlier. Okay. Oh, so Plateau is well. I will be a bit more generous because I'm gonna put it. I'm still gonna be put it in D tier, but I'll be a bit more generous. It is definitely better than Pit 6 because there's a lot more room to maneuver around. The visuals are also better. There's a building and there are more platforms and interactive elements in this. Like you have this tiny little elevator that can move up and down. Uh, that is also a variable element that I like. And yeah, yeah, it's still kind of generic and I still don't like that it's kind of unfair. You're like, right. you could have the team spawn on top of the building or there's the other team who spawn on spawning on the grassland and frankly I don't like unfairness so D tier for me. Yeah, so, um, the elevator this... is um, pretty cool. I did mention that um, when, you, when he falls down and then he drops you, it's not very effective. It could probably just like... Uh, have more of a drop, a make below the elevator just like nothing. And then instead of just turning, it would shake to uh, communicate that it's about to release. And then it would just instantly drop and drop you. But um, it, even then, the elevator, you should have seen the, the, the wide map. The later version of the wide map had an elevator that was pretty fun. Actually, oh, yeah, I think the older yes. version, one of the middle versions had it. The, the older version did as well, but the middle versions had the elevator without all the crazy stuff that uh, made it a bit of a, a mess. Yeah, it was really fun. But in this map, I didn't even notice the elevator that much. I, I forget it exists sometimes. <laughs> I hear. Oh, are we ready to move on to Tractor? Uh, no, just a second. Yeah, uh, this... Um, this is kind of a, I mean, I, I have a lot tangent, of, uh, but... I mean, oh, sorry to cut you off. Uh, I'm going to change some of my minds after like the order, but uh, you can go ahead. Um, yeah, me too, but only after we rank Tractor. But yeah, this, um, like, the unfairness thing Excalibur mentioned a few times is... It reminded me of just how much um, 
the RPG uh, changed like um, fairness of certain maps. Like it's not, it wasn't that much of a difference whether you'd spawn near the ground or far away from it. But ever since RPGs were introduced, like it's a massive difference because if you're near ground, you're almost guaranteed to get hit by an RPG. But if you're not near ground, then it's actually not that hard to dodge it. Like it's a massive difference. I feel like the RPG changed a lot. Uh, um, it changed the fairness of the game a lot. I still like the weapon, but it's just um, uh, it's a little too broken on a lot of levels. Like, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, so you got the bombs take a while to explode. You got a timer, but the RPG, the the, the rocket launcher. Um, Unlike the other weapons, even you've got a ranged weapon, you can dodge it, you can uh, react in time. The rocket launcher goes really fast and it just explodes right away. So um, if you're farther away, you have um, a lot of attack power for someone further away. And it, it does yeah. make the game like, um, I guess it feels a bit unfair sometimes. It, it is fun, but um, it changes the dynamic of the game a, a bit. Yeah, it's, like, it's a massive difference. Yeah, see, this is like if in, in Pit One, for example, like if you're on the right side of the map, like um, you can dodge RPGs relatively easily. But on I'm... the left side of the map, it's an entirely different story. Like you, I'm pretty sure that um, you, unless you jump like at perfect time, like if the enemy just hits the ground below you uh, with an RPG, you'll always get hit, or at least most of the time, like. Maybe if you're precise, you can avoid the explosion, but it's way harder to dodge it. But it's like it's not the only map um, with that issue. I'm just it's the first example I could think of. You know what? Um, I actually think the RPG has too many too much ammo. Like you got a bomb, bomb does a lot of damage. You got to wait for it to explode, <clears throat> and then it does an explosion minus free health. Rocket launcher explodes right away, and there's three of them. So maybe the rocket launcher should only have like a single ammo or something like that. Yeah. Yes. I that would so make it me. a lot more fair. What do you think, Excalibur? Oh, sorry. This gave me an idea. What if the rocket launcher also had very slow projectile speed at first? It could maybe accelerate over time, but uh, and it could get fast after a few seconds, but. Uh, maybe it could start off way slower than it does now, so we have a little more time to dodge it. Um, because the its projectile speed is like it just adds more insult to injury, I guess. Yeah, that would allow you more time to react, but there's not much distance to travel, so I'm not sure if it would be as effective. But yeah. You got any thoughts on the sixth caliber? Yeah, rocket launchers can really tilt the uh, tilt the tide of war, and not in a good way, I hope, I fear. Like, yeah. If one team gets the rocket launcher, they have a definitive edge over the other team. Even if they have another strong weapon like the shotgun or a bomb. Because yeah. the rocket launcher has much more range and it's explosive. Meaning it, it can hurt multiple players at the same time. Yeah. And even in the last person standing and other free-for-all modes, it's, it's still pretty difficult to counter a player who's playing with a rocket launcher. So yeah, there definitely needs to be more balance, but for unfortunately I'm not very adept at balance changes. I think the making it is, one uh, ammo I... would actually might be a good change, I guess. It's it's much more beneficial on the bomb to have, so one ammo might be a good change, but I guess I'll mention it. Yes. Um... I mean, this would probably, like, this entire video, would, I think, would be a really good watch for the devs, so they can know what's wrong with each map, what's wrong with other stuff. I think it would be pretty good. Yeah, feedback from the top three Cloud Opera's players. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Just some um, good old-fashioned criticism. Yeah. yeah, we hate you guys. Um, oh, wait, I'm talking about me. <laughs> wow. You, what are you saying, Aranza? Um, like, um, I didn't remember, like, you could technically shoot RPGs, but 
It's a, it's on uh, it almost never happens. Every single time I've seen it happen, it's been on accident. It doesn't seem very practical, so yeah, it's not really a solution to anything. But I just felt like throwing it out there. Still, it doesn't make the weapon any more balanced. Yeah, well, we gotta see what we can do about the RPGs. But um, I guess we might as well move on to the final map, Tractor. Excalibur, I, I think I'd like you to start on this. This is another extremely chaotic map. But I don't quite like it as much as Burping Bert because the tractor can move around. And I mean, that is a variable element. But this time I don't like it as much because you can fall off it. And not to mention, it's a pretty crowded map. And even worse, it's actually unfair, unlike Burping Bert. One side has three layers, the other side only has two. And frankly, I'm not too sure if I want to like this map or not. I guess you're right. I didn't I think about it. Be yeah? Did I cut you off? Hold on. And so, yeah, I'm going to put it on F tier. I'm sorry, Tractor fans, but I had to do you dirty. Dang it. Well, uh, I, I didn't really think about... I mean, you do have the secondary p platform on the left, but the right one also has the spring pad. But I guess they could use something else. Um... It is a nice uh, environment because, um, you know, it's, it's a moving tractor that's a bit different. I like the aesthetic. I like, um, it's not very complex. I just like how simple it is. If I had to rate it, I would probably give it a, um, I would put it right. I guess it's high A. The reason for that is because, um, I really like the, the simple maps. It's so simple and just nice to plan in my opinion. I guess it's not equal for like if you're on either or side. I think left side has more stability in not getting knocked off, but the right side has a spring pad. But um, I just think it's like simple, easy to maneuver around, easy to process and uh, overall a nice map to play on. And chaos, uh, chaos. the moving arm though, it's, cool. I like landing on it when it's available, but I don't know if it actually changes gameplay that much. I think it should be like, it should add more to the game instead of just moving left and right. Maybe. What What do you think, Aranza? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, except I, um, this meme tier was not just for burping birds, it's also for a tractor. Um, uh, the thing about this map is that um, it's um, I got this would be an even better um, example than Pit 1 for the RPG unfairness thing I talked about earlier, but um, if, you, like, if you're on the right side of the map and the opponent has an RPG and is on the left side of the map, or even a bomb, like in a bomb, um, you are most likely going to die. <laughs> that's it. Um, although even on the left side, that still might happen easily. Though you have a little more room to dodge, the RPG because you have platforms right side like it's you could use the spring but um the opponent can just fire a second RPG before you can react and I feel like um this map is the single worst candidate for like um when it comes to fairness and especially RPGs like it's the He's the absolute worst offender. That being said, it's not enough for me to uh, rank it low because um, just like Burping Bird, um, it's kind of um, it's a small map nature and overall, like the moving trucks, I don't mind them personally. In fact, I kind of liked that, but um, the fact it's so small and you know, it's kind of it's a nice map overall, nice and simple. Um, it does make for um, some unique gameplay, and I think. One second. Um, I feel like it deserves to be higher up. Like, um, I I can't rank it low just because uh, like it has a lot of good things about it, and I know it's not very fair, but. It's the I still like the map personally. And I know I I can't really say how high I'd put it. It's probably B tier, maybe low A tier. 
but yeah that's my take on it yeah i hear you um maybe it is pretty small what if you had a, like a third vehicle on the left and you just have like free platform to run around on and um you'd have more space i guess Feel free to talk if you have any <laughs> feedback. Uh, one that. second, yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, you go on, but I'll be back quickly. Yeah, we could probably expand like the length of this map, like just add another trailer behind and just make it longer maybe. That could be pretty fun. We could encompass the back, like the same way the front has like the little bump to like uh, hold you in. You could probably have that at the back as well and uh, maybe add different layers and uh, Maybe instead of a tractor, it could be like a, a big truck but behind this huge wooden wagon with all this hay bumping around and like barrels. And then uh, <laughs> that would be pretty funny, I guess. But I guess I'm just thinking you could add another piece of the back to make it longer or something like that. Um, I'm back. Um, can you just summarize what you said or... Yeah, I think another link at the back could be fun. Or maybe even instead of a tractor, a big truck playing behind this huge wooden wagon. And the wooden wagon would have like a lot of like area to run around in. But you could follow the back. And maybe you could like have a, a level up or two, like the platforms. But it, just an idea, I guess. Mm, yeah. yeah. It could be interesting, yes. Got any closing notes for a tractor, Excalibur? For the love of God, I do not like that platform. <laughs> yeah, the one above, <laughs> or the one that's moving, right? I agree, it uh, doesn't serve much purpose. But um, I'm going to let, if you want to revise any of your op choices, I'll let you do that now. I'm going to go last, because if I look at my browser, it's going to block your screen share. So, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll go first. If you're okay with that? No, uh, you guys can go this. Well, if you want to talk, you can talk first. But I, I see Excalibur's already rearranging his. <laughs> oh, I, I'll wait then. I'll wait for Excalibur. Uh, Any comments on your changes, Excalibur? If you want to share, you don't have to. Can't hear you if you're talking. Well, doing some reshuffling. Interesting. It's a lot of shuffling, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is in the, is in S tier now. Nice. Nice. Pick one. You deserve to be ranked <laughs> down there. <laughs> cool. You're not getting up in D tier. It's a nice symmetry. What do you think, uh, Aranza? What do you got it? <clears throat> um. About chase ranking or do I go on with mine? Yeah, what, what changes would you make or do you want to make? Or if you want to comment on them, I mean. Um, I guess I'll comment on like, um, yeah, I might change a few things. Let me just think about it. Um, faces pick two and bounce house. I think they just stay here. Um, I might remove some maps a bit higher up. Um, First of all, actually, for um, plateau, um, plateau, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, I guess this deserves to be lower. I don't know. And in fact, it's go, it deserves to be here. Uh, it's not as bad as the, uh, it's, it's a bit poor in my eyes, but um, it's like the de definition of average. Um, it should be here. And I feel like I actually might move, keep it low. Um, I don't know if I should move it. Mm -hmm. well, what I do know is that I think I'm going to move this up here, actually. Um, yeah, I do like Pit 1. Like, despite all of its flaws, I think it's a really good map. Um, this is Pit 2. I think, like, this... Um, this is in Pit 2, in my eyes they're kind of interchangeable, um, it's just, yeah, well, uh, the first one is just very unique, uh, no doubt about it, and Pit 2, um, uh, I, I like I said, the best of the simple maps for me, um, 
Bounce House is the one I'm actually debating, like, mm, and keep it low. Like, it feels like they're kind of close, but Bounce House is too unique. Like, it's way more unique, and I don't feel like I can keep it low and Bounce House is the same spot, or in the same tiers. Um, but keep it low is definitely high A tier, like the highest. Um, um, I mean, it's one of the first maps, and yet um, it's one of the best ones too. Um, to be honest, I don't think I changed this much. Like this, um, again, if Bounce House was uh, changed to how it used to be, it, it would be top of the list. Like it would be SS plus or somewhere up there. Um, but as it is, it it can't it can be too high up. Um, keep it low. I'm actually kind of considering putting this in low S because I feel like, like it's the perfect map in a lot of aspects. I don't know I'm just biased more towards P2, but in a way it's like also one of the best simple maps. And I don't know like. I mean, the thing is, like, I feel like, I definitely don't feel like I want to put this in the same place as Pinch and Pit 1. Like, I like it a lot more. I might just have to put it in S tier. Uh, I feel like this is too crowded for an S tier, but it is what it is. That's all good. It's all, it's all just you. Yeah. I'm like, just shuffling it over. Um, like, yeah, so, um, Mouse House and Keep It Low like, are, like, um, they're like for me they're debatable on whether or not they are they are high A or low S, but I will leave them here for now. Pinch and Pit One, I think they're fine where they are. Pit Three, Sawmill. Um, yeah, I feel like this is fine too. Um, I still like they're pretty decent maps. Like they're pretty good. I just don't like them as much as the ones higher up. The ones in C tier are all like the definition of average for me. And Pit 6 is like, yeah, we don't talk about Pit 6. And these ones, yeah, I feel like I don't actually think I'll change a whole lot. Like, I just um, keep it low, goes one tier higher, and plateau, and plateau goes one tier lower. That, that's the only, those are the only two changes I will make. I think this is. Um, how it will stay for now. Oh, nice. Um, well, if it's my turn, I went yes. last because when I look at my browser, it blocks your, it, it doesn't show your uh, tier list. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to make a lot of changes, probably. Let me adjust my monitor because I don't want to scroll down. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. One, one, one second, I forgot about Tractor and Burping Bert. Um, sure, feel free to comment. Um, so Tractor, I think, um, unlike Burping Bert, which is B to S tier, I, uh, Tractor is more of an B to A tier for me, at least. Because, uh, it's only because Burping Bert seems a bit more balanced, I guess. And also, uh, it's funnier, like, the chaos is in it is funnier than on Tractor, so I, I can't really... Um, I feel like Burping Bert deserves to be higher, but they are pretty, pretty close. Uh, like, I can I don't think they are too far away from each other. Um, so yeah, and that's the only thing I want to add, just to clarify. Anyways, go on. No problem. Um, I want to take some time thinking as well. Let's see. Um, Bit one. Think about all the feedback today. If I was giving me a new perspective. Keep it low, pit one, pit four, F tier, yes. I think I'm gonna <laughs> put plateau. Eh, well, it's good in D. Frog and Frank's place in this one. Burp and Birds could actually. Nah, it's good there. Tractor. Bounce house. I'm gonna move it S actually. And then pieces. A uh, pinch, a uh, pit free. Hmm. Sawmill. Yeah, I really like the circular movement in sawmill. So it's in there. P 
Pit free is um pretty good. Mmm, pinch. Pinch is good. But hmm. Maybe tractor shouldn't be where it is. I'll move up sawmill for now. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, for for some reason I can't you I can't like the screen uh the stream is just static for me. I have to go into some other stream and then back into yours for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. That's not good. Well, this this is the like um the end, so I don't think it's worth bothering to fix it now. Hmm. It wasn't happening before. It it only started oh. now, so is whatever. Well, you'll see my final picks after. Um, yeah. Bourbon Bird, I had as B because it's great, but also not great depending on you know the amount of players. So I agree with that. Maybe A tier is too. Maybe I like I want to move all these down a notch. Like um, what if Pit Two? Oh, it's suddenly moving. Okay, now yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess it's moving now. Great. <laughs> um, okay, AML. Pinch. Oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time on this, aren't I? Because I wasn't able to look at my thing while you guys were doing yours. Mm. Okay, pinch. I like. Okay, maybe pit free more, and then tractor. The tractor is nice and simple. Pieces has a nice movement. I'm going to move tractor back up, and uh, pit four, pit six, pit. Um. You now Plato can go about this. Frank and Frank's place. Um, mm -hmm. Burping Bert. I I wonder if this I'm actually fine with what I most of what I did before, huh? At least this is my turtles, guys. Mm -hmm. Or I would not tell if I wanted to move them down all the way to B and just leave A like empty, but um, sawmill. Okay, maybe I'll just put them all. B tier and leave S empty like uh who did that? Excalibur have one in S. Alright, let me let me move them all down and then I will make a decision. That's um right. Burping Bird is here. Samuel Tractor Pit Free. Burping Bird can go maybe to C, but high C. And then I like P1 a lot, and the key below is great. And uh, Bounce House is definitely S. And then pieces and pinch. No, it's not less than pit free. The tractor is nice and simple. Pieces, pinch, maybe could go down here. Sawmill could go above. Sawmill is probably first or second. No, first, it's definitely first. Hmm. And then tractor could come here. Pieces. Um, no, I like being able to jump up and down and all around. Okay, tractor needs some changes. And pit free can go above tractor. Pinch is a B tier. Is that right? Um, Dripping bird was B tier. Like, I think Pinch is really good for team game, but uh, it's not as super epic as the other ones, in my opinion. All right, this is my uh, finalized list. I'm not going to overthink it too much. No. Any quite input? a few changes. Sorry? Um, quite a few changes, or at least it seems that way. Um, let me just Indeed. see. Stream as well. Um, you got any... Yeah. Uh, Huh? What? <laughs> just, um, I did. Yeah, I will just make one more change, and that's putting. I did. I know. I said I was was going to put only one map in D two, but I I don't. I won't. Pit four just sucks. Um, LOL. Pit four and pit six have to. <laughs> we'll get to. But I still feel like I still dislike pit six more, but they are like almost the same. Uh, tier two. Uh, so I uh, I have two maps in every single tier except S. 
Nice. You got any uh, closing uh, comments, uh, Excalibur, before we uh, wrap this up? So, yeah, those are the maps of Cloud Hoppers. And overall, a lot of them aren't too different from each other, but they do have little <laughs> intricacies that do differentiate them. Indeed. Although there are some standouts in both the good sector and the bad sector. With that being said, May the Forks be with you all. May the Force wow. be with you all. Oh yeah, that's how you end your videos, Excalibur, I saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, uh, Aranza, if you have nothing else to say, I know you have a lot to say, um, uh, we could uh, wrap this up. Like, call it I, I do have a few more things. Um, oh, okay. First of all, um, yeah, this is, a, this is this really fun. Full screen, Excalibur. <laughs> um, this is just... Um, not as related to the actual ratings themselves, but uh, this is a ton of fun. Like I really enjoy this, and to be honest, I wouldn't mind doing this for maybe a few other things. Like I don't know weapons. Actually, I don't know what else there will be, but I think a weapons. I, I... Maybe like you, you got win map, then weapons are just you know it's, it's you you gotta use them all, I guess. In a given yeah, round. but we could just we could just rate like how much we like each one. Uh, True. Uh, sorry to cut you off, Excalibur. Could you uh, scroll down a bit? Your list is cropped. Up. Uh, did you zoom in a bit? Can you zoom out? And then scroll down. A tiny bit. Good. All right. You're saying, Lorenzo. So yeah, I think we I I'd be totally down for on that kind of tier list, and maybe also like um, I would be totally down to rank like the legacy maps, like the older maps that were aren't present here anymore. Yeah, I'd be down for um, upgrading this tier list, like keeping it ever like keeping this as it is now, but then later on maybe changing it, like adding stuff to it. Um, like, um, if I save or download this, will that, like, what, what exactly does that do? Like, it will make an that... image, so feel free to share it in chat. Ah, true. So next time I'll just um, order them in the exact same way I did in the image, I guess. Um, so I, I think we, um, like, I guess that's true tier list we could do, in my opinion. Um... Yeah. There's also the ball map, like the although that's like the ball map is I kind have of a like. Build. <laughs> um, granted that the ball uh, the ball map may be actually too different because it's used for an entirely different game mode. It's it's not even available in the other ones, so maybe it's not a good idea to rank it anyways because it's just different. Um, but yeah, I feel uh, I'd be totally down to do that sometime. Oh, Weapons well. and. And maybe extended maps to your list. Um, and other than that, yeah, I really enjoy this. Like, I I don't mind the fact that it's lasted this long. In fact, I really enjoyed the fact that we got to talk about this so much. I thought this would be way shorter, but I'm glad it wasn't. Yeah, I'm glad it lasted this long. Valuable feedback. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, that too. Like, uh, but... Um, uh... So there's a lot, there are a lot of valid points on maps, and yeah, and also it's it's just really nice to see what uh, what other people like what you guys thought uh, of those uh, maps. Like, uh, it was really it was really nice hearing your opinions as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna say that we're done with the play the turtles. Yay! Uh, Epic. I'm guessing. Next I'll... up, maybe we're gonna have. The voices tier list of all oh. the characters in Cloud Hoppers. <laughs> right, well, I'm, I don't think I'm going to rate that. So I don't know. Like, Maybe uh, uh, we can do it when we have like a lot more than than uh, we'll have some substance to work with. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm guessing you guys are done for today. I'm, I'm, yep. Yeah, we've been here for uh, way too long. I guess we don't have time for yeah. Cloud Hoppers. But I mean, it's still Cloud Hoppers in a way. We've. Uh, we played yeah. the terrorless game. Yes, indeed. I mean, this was like um, quite unique compared to what we usually do. Um, 
so yeah, it, it's very refreshing. Um, but yeah, I will stop Bitcoin for now. So all sounds good. Um, yeah, that was really fun. I'm just going to take one last look at your tier lists and then. Yeah. But are you gonna change it again? I'm not looking at. I'm looking at Cloud. No, right I'm now. just taking looking at your tier list. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, I just want to have one last look and. Yeah, I'm going to stop here. Okay, well, uh, before we leave, um, everyone, you can uh, save your tier list and uh, share it in uh, the Cloud Arbus channel. Yeah. Um. Did you stop recording? Um. Or... No, I, I usually stop when everyone leaves the call, <laughs> unless if there's um, a reason to. All right. So let me just. Um... I I can make a profile so I can save this as well. To be oh, honest. Oh, cool. Yeah. It, it doesn't um, take that long to do, but uh, you can download the image and just uh, post it in the Cloud Arbus channel, uh, Excalibur yes. and uh, Aranza. Yeah. I, also, do I do want to, um, I want to take a look at the other uh, Stu's tier, tier list and the other person's tier list, just to see, just to compare them, what they look like. Maybe resend them in that channel, just for easier comparison. Oh, um, last. I'll ask the uh, maybe I'll message Steve to um post it there as well. He went for that pretty yes. quick with that. We were on it for so long. Yeah. Uh, can you share yours in the Cloud Arbus channel, Excalibur, just so we can all see it together? Yeah. So for easier comparison. Yeah, the Cloud Arbus channel, Excalibur. Well, let me just see how the steer list compares. I think Bounce, yeah, Bounce House is the only S tier in this guy's tier list. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Um, <laughs> no, Pisces is quite low. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, too bad this guy didn't have an F tier lane. Maybe it could change a few things, but oh well. Um. Why did he, yeah, Why are we slandering Pisces? Uh, bit four. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one likes Pit Four apparently. Wait, does this guy like it? Actually, I didn't. Wait, what guy? No, even no, he ranked it in C. I guess no one likes it. <laughs> uh, wait, does Stu like it? It's not that bad. <laughs> it's just generic. Well, I guess Stu put it in B tier, so I guess he does like it. Wait. <laughs> Well, it's low B tier, but yeah, I guess I guess we are like it's the map we all agree the most on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just uh, underwhelming. Uh -huh. Well, well uh, yeah. I don't want to make this drag on for too long, so I guess uh, we've had a lot of fun. Might call it quits now. What do you say? Yeah, I think it's time now. Yes. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, Goodbye. see ya guys. See ya. Um yeah, Hello. looking forward to the next tier lists. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. And the next session as well. Like, yeah. Oh well, yeah, uh next well we're gonna have our I think tomorrow's a holiday, but I'll be on if people wanna play, whatever. But um I... next week uh, we can try the older build. That'd be fun. Yeah, sure. Um I I don't think I can be on tomorrow. I have to go on a birthday a party, so I can I won't be at home. So yeah, no problem. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, right. have a good one. See ya. Awesome. Yeah. See ya, guys. See ya. Thanks so much for the epic time. Yes, you are welcome. <laughs> Be the forks. Be with yes. you all. Yes. Cheers. Well, I'm gonna force. Okay, you left. Okay, we can leave. <laughs> all right, we're done. Stop. Re. Core. Ding.